Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this text animation for your projects. And the cool thing is that you can use it for every project and you can customize it with one click. So I highly suggest you watch this video until the end because I will show you some cool tricks that will help you along the way. Alright, now here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I'm going to click on new composition and I'm going to call it text and the width and height is set on 1080 and the frame rate is 24 frames per second and duration is 10 seconds. So I'm going to click on OK. Now on the next step, I'm just going to go towards the type tool and I'm going to write the word shadow and let's align it to the middle. All right, great. Now let's hit this tiny triangle and in animate menu, I'm just going to add a opacity. Let's set the opacity on zero and in range selector one, I'm just going to set a keyframe on the start and in one second, I'm just going to set it on hundred. Lastly, let's just easy, easy keyframes and we will have this animation. So this was the easiest part. Now let's go to the fun part, which is adding the effects and getting the look that we want. So to do that, I'm just going to add a new composition and I'm going to call it main. And then I'm just going to bring the text in here. All right. Now, in order to achieve the technique that you saw in the preview, we need to add a few effects and then combine them with the text layers to get the look that we want. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new solder layer and I'm going to call it Meta one and I will tell you why in a second. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a fractal noise effect. Let's just change the noise type to spline. And then I'm just going to increase the contrast for now. Let's just set on 300 and I'm going to set the brightness for like 30. So the numbers are not exactly the same. We can tweak them later on. So I'm just going to add them for now and let's set complexity to one. And I'm just going to animate this effect by just holding Alt and clicking on evolution. I'm just going to write time multiplied by 250. So this will be our effect. And now we need this effect for a few more times. So I'm just going to duplicate it. Let's just call it matter two for this one. And this time matter three. And then let's just lastly, let's just call it matter four. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to tweak this number. So for example, I'm just going to set this brightness to minus 40 this time. And then I'm just going to bring it to like 200. And then I'm going to set this one to, um, let's say like 180. And lastly, let's just set this one to 100 and the contrast to, and the brightness to 50. So as I said, the numbers are not exactly uh, the same. You can tweak them later on. Now it is time to use these effects on the text. So to do that, I'm just going to duplicate this text two more times. Let's just call it text one and okay. Oops. I'm just going to call it text one. And let's just call the second one text two and this one text three. Great. Now we're starting with the first text. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a color effect. I'm just going to add a four color gradient and let's just uh, get the, um, okay, let's just set this one to pink and I'm just going to quickly adjust some of these colors. Let's just set this one to an uh, orange one, this one to a uh, light blue, and then we're going to use these anchor points. I'm just going to solo this text after I replace these anchor points so you can see better. Okay, let's just solo this text so we can see better what we are going to do. And if you have enjoyed this video so far, please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Now let's continue. So what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to add a set mat effect. And then I'm just going to get the um, set mat from the mat four, for example. And then let's change the uh, source to effects and masks. And as you see, nothing happened because we need to get the alpha channel from the luminance. So now, as soon as I do that, you will see that we will have this effect, which is quite nice. Now, what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to add a fast pass blur effect. And then I'm just going to increase the blur, for example, to 50. And then I'm just going to add a directional blur effect. And let's just increase the blur to like all the way. Oh, this is too much. Let's, let's go for 360. So we will have some arrays like this. This is nice. Now let's just animate the duration. So as you see, we can animate the duration so we can add a wiggle expression for like 0.5 and like two 
to animate this a bit so we have some movement for our text so that's nice now what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna add a turbulent displace effect and let's just decrease the size to 70 and then the amount to 20 and we can animate the evolution for like time multiplied by 250 again so this is going to be our race which is quite nice now on the next step i want to stack this effect one more time to make this effect better so i'm just gonna get the four color gradient i'm gonna paste it i'm just gonna get the set matte effect again and i'm gonna need the fast box blur as well as the turbulent displays so i'm just gonna add it to the effect let's just reveal the shadow and i'm just gonna change the matter to matter 3 this time and then i'm just gonna increase the blurness to this seems fine and as you see now we have an stacked effect now on the main one we are going to reveal our text so i'm just gonna get the four color gradient i need so i'm just gonna paste it and this time i'm just gonna add the camera lens blur effect so we will have some real cameras and then i'm gonna get the matter 2 as a blur map and let's just set it on effects and masks so we will have something like this this is quite nice and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna add the let's go get back to the layer and i'm gonna add the turbulent displace effect for this layer however i'm um, before the turbulent displace i will need the set matte effect so i'm just gonna paste it in here and i'm gonna move it above the turbulent displace effect and i'm gonna set the last mat as the um matte layer so we'll have something like this now this is mandatory if you want to remove the black spots you can decrease the contrast but i suggest to have a few of these dark spots because it's going to make the animation better and now the shadow is wiggling too much so i'm just going to get back to the turbulent displace tree i'm just going to decrease the size and amount a bit so we will have something like this okay this seems nice now what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna add a background so before that let's almost unsolo everything let's just hide the mats we, we don't need them and i'm gonna add a background the background color seems fine and now as you see the text is a bit bright we need to color adjust it and i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and i'm gonna call it color and then i'm gonna add a curves effect and let's just adjust red and green and blue channel okay now it's better so if i turn it off you see now it it has a bit more depth to this animation and you can stylize it even further by adding another adjustment layer and i'm just going to call it a fix and i'm just going to add a fast pass blur effect again and i'm going to set the blurness to 0.7 and let's add a sharpen and i'm just going to increase the sharpen to like 120 seems fine and lastly let's just add a bit of noise to the art design so i'm just going to call it like for 10% noise or 7% seems fine so this is going to be our final result and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content thank you so much goodbye